The airbag was invented in the 1960s, but it wasn't an instant smash hit. It took several years to trigger a big reaction. But by the 1980s, automakers were installing them in most vehicles. Sensors detect a sudden deceleration and inflate them, giving vehicle occupants a soft landing. This side curtain airbag inflates in less than 20 thousandths of a second. Blink and you'll miss it. Making an airbag is practically a seamless effort because they're woven in one piece. Big computerized looms weave at a blurring speed, 600 revolutions per minute. They're called air jet jackered looms. They lift and lower each nylon yarn to make an intricate one-piece fabric. Up to 10,700 yarns can be used to make the material. If even one of the thousands of yarns breaks, an electrical sensor will detect it and shut the loom down, so production never gets in a snarl. Despite this rapid weaving action, the loom produces just 8 meters of fabric an hour. That's because it's very dense fabric. That density will allow the airbag to stand up to the force of deployment. Now the woven fabric goes through an inspection station. As automated rollers wind it up, a worker examines it. If it's acceptable, he signs it off. Next, it's on to the scouring station. Here, a machine unwinds the airbag fabric as rollers guide it towards a wash and dry system that's 36 meters long. The rollers draw the airbag material through a number of big wash tanks to ensure a thorough cleaning. Then a series of hot rollers dry and press the fabric. The freshly laundered airbag material moves through the coating machine. A hose pumps liquid silicone onto the fabric and a scraper overhead distributes it. As a worker scoops some up, you can see that it's as thick as molasses. The silicone seals the airbag fabric. But it's wet and sticky and needs to dry. So it passes through a series of ovens heated to about 190 degrees Celsius. As it dries, the silicone cures to the fabric. Now a computer-guided laser cuts the material with a precision and speed that no human could ever replicate. Black lines woven into the fabric assist the laser as it cuts the airbag design. At any point in time, it's cutting multiple airbags out of the fabric. When the job is done, the conveyor belt moves the airbags forward. And now, they're scrutinized by humans. A worker pulls the one-piece airbag across a template and examines it to make sure the dimensions match. Then it's sent over to the sewing station. Although the airbags have been seamlessly woven, attachments and reinforcements still need to be sewn on. The stitching is computer controlled. A worker feeds the fabric to the sewing machine and then simply presses a button. The machine stitches together the tabs that will connect the airbag to the inside of the vehicle frame, just above the side window. Here, it sews a tether onto the bag. This strip of fabric will also be used to hold the airbag in place. Now it's time to test a sample airbag from the production run. And yes, we have ignition.